Hey guys, welcome to Widdis and Medicine. This is a very first tutorial on our channel and we are really happy to begin it with toxicology. Hoping that all of us are well acquainted with the concept of general toxicology, we shall proceed here to our scoriosi poses directly. Let's get started. So, intro first. Corrosive is derived from the Latin word corroder, where core means completely and roder means to numb. So, it's like eating up something completely. These are the substances having corroding or destructive effects on human body and maybe acids or alkalis. Let's get into a quick classification. Corrosive poisons may be classified into acids and alkalis. The acids include mineral acids such as sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid or nitric acid whereas organic acids include oxalic acid, acetic acid or formic acid and the alkalis include sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, ammonium hydroxide and many more. Talking about the mechanism of action of corrosives, they are very distinct such as extraction of water from tissues, leading to dehydration of tissues, coagulation of cellular proteins and conversion of hemoglobin to hematin. Among all of this, coagulation of cellular proteins play a vital role in manifestation of injuries caused due to acids or alkalis. Now it's time for acids versus alkalis. Acids cause coagulation necrosis. Whenever strong mineral acids come in contact with moist skin or moist surface, there is an exothermic reaction releasing a large amount of heat. The heat together with the corrosion causes coagulation necrosis of the tissues. Talking about alkalis, they cause liquefaction necrosis. The hydroxyl ions present in them cause saponification of fat as well as cellular dehydration. These ions pass from molecule to molecule, deeply burrowing the tissues, resulting in liquefaction necrosis in the form of soft, friable gelatinous lesions, which cause more penetrating kind of injuries to the body. The next difference is that acids are likely to cause less severe injuries than alkalis. How? Let's see here. Talking about acids, they cause coagulation necrosis, resulting into the formation of layer called ashar, which is dry, clearly demarcated and leathery. This layer of coagulum or ashar prevents the deeper penetration of injuries. As compared to the alkalis where the liquefaction necrosis cause more deeper and penetrating injuries. Acids produce charring, which results due to incomplete combustion of organic material, whereas alkalis do not. Oh wait, but alkalis cause more severe injury. It is quite interesting to know that acids and alkalis, despite of being corrosive poisons, have different pattern of injuries. Acids cause more damage to stomach, whereas alkalis cause more damage to esophagus. This is likely explained by the fact that alkalis get neutralized on reaching to the stomach due to production of hydrochloric acid therein. So the affinity is more likely to cause damage to esophagus rather than stomach. Last but not the least, the strictures are more pronounced with alkalis than with acids. As explained earlier, alkalis cause more damage to esophagus rather than to stomach. The strictures are also more commonly manifested in the form of esophageal strictures. So here we are at the end of our first tutorial video. So if you have any queries, feel free to drop them in comment section below and do not forget to like, share and subscribe. We will be meeting soon with another tutorial. Keep loving, keep supporting. Thank you.